Alright, please, I'm in a public place and I won't be able to be loud. I hope I'm audible right now. Uh, let me put this off. You'll be wondering where it came from, by the way. I usually have it on my lock screen while I'm working. So, on this project, something I'm still modeling, uh, there are two roof items I've used here. There's this guy and there is this guy. And in case I was trying to do the estimates for roofing, and it's just the information requested that I need. Specifically, the ridge lengths, the hip lengths, the valleys, and all that. I'm going to come over here to window, go to the palettes, and search for this guy, elements information. Alright, so it brings up this guy. So when I select any item, like this window for example, it tells me this is a window, and it gives me some other extra information such as the height of the window, you can see that here, the width of the window, its elevation to project zero in the file, that was the seal, the surface area, the volume and all that. So if it's a roof item as well, when I scroll down, some of these things are not usually useful, but down here we find some really useful information. Things like those you requested specifically, I would say from here all the way. So. Here's the ridge length, and this is the total of the length of all ridges. So it really makes things easier. The valley length, the hip length, the eaves length, all across the entire project. So I hope this was helpful to you. If there's need for any other specific information, specific, Jesus, English is difficult. Uh, I hope I can be helpful. And in case the audio doesn't work out well, um, I hope this video helps out. Alright, so typically I have that stored here, you don't click on it so that it moves to a portion of the screen. Bye!